Good morning. Um, I'm Eowyn Fields, and I'm going into my junior year at Huntington High School this fall. If you've been to any of Huntington's theater productions or choir concerts, you might have recognized me from there too. And a lot of you know me as Dennis's granddaughter because I'm here every Christmas service and come to regular Sunday services every so often. But a couple weeks ago, Father Andrew asked if I would like to give the sermon to you today for Youth Sunday. He asked for me to share my experiences and give you a chance to hear a much different sermon than you're used to, considering it's coming from a 15-year-old with zero preaching experience. Um, but I took the challenge at face value and decided to talk to you today about growth. To start, I want to ask you about your biggest aspirations in life, even from when you were a kid. Think about where you are now, all it took to get here, whether you're content as you are, or if there's a part of you that knows there's still more to do in this lifetime. I'd like you to keep all of that in mind. I've grown up in a Judeo-Christian household, never having a belief set forced on me, never having to go to one church or the other. And sometimes it was difficult to explain as a kid that I celebrated Christmas, Three Kings Day, and also Yom Kippur and Hanukkah. We even celebrated holidays like Yule and Beltane. And sometimes I really, really wished it was just one or the other, because starting a journey of faith with so many different experiences is a lot more difficult of a starting point than you'd think it would be. But as I've gotten older, I've never been more thankful that my parents gave me that. I use this opportunity to understand other people in a way that's hard for some because it's easy to stay where you're comfortable. And sometimes, but someone out there has to make the effort to do the uncomfortable thing. And sometimes that's giving a sermon when you don't know, you, <laughs> when you aren't entirely sure you know what you're doing at all. Case in point. Um, so here I am trying to convince you to do the same. I'm not perfect by any means, and I still don't know what I believe, but I'm putting in the effort, and I'm on my way to finding out. So growth. It's staring at an audience of 500 people for the big spring musical. Growth is bearing bug bites on your first camping trip. It's joining a choir where you don't know anyone at all simply because you want to sing. And despite all of those things, growth is becoming who you are. Having strangers come up to you after you perform to tell you that you looked absolutely at home under the stage lights. Deciding to volunteer at a wonderful community garden next to your little free pantry that you made with Katie McDonald, I'm looking at you. Um, and, uh, somehow becoming the president in the fall uh, and that choir you joined becoming a family of its own. There are ups and downs of, co of course, sometimes Growth results from the worst situations, forcing you to learn how to find support in those around you. You must find your own motivation to do everything you want to do. But I must warn you, just finding the motivation to grow isn't going to be your saving grace. It's finding the will to push through when you've already started growing. Somewhere on your journey, you'll hit a bump in the road, a massive bump in the road, you may realize that in some ways you are completely different from everyone else, and some people may hate you for that. And you wish you could just be normal like everyone, but you know you can't. If you could, if the world bent to our every desire, you wouldn't need to have faith in anything at all. So, when you feel like you should give up, remind yourself of what you believe in, the things you hold near to your heart. You take what life gave you, carry it with pride, and keep going. Your will may come from the comfort of knowing that God is looking out for you and wants you to do well. It may come from knowing that no matter what, your mom will always be there for you, whether she can make it to your big performance or not. And it may come from that little spark you feel inside when you do what you love. What I think the best part of all of this is, is that you never have to stop growing at all. Some of you have been through this finding who you are thing and had strong faith for what feels like, or may be decades, but the earth keeps spinning, new people coming in and out of our lives, faith being there for most of us to find comfort in. New experiences arise along with new opportunities to grow. I encourage you to find those things in life that help you grow, whether it's doing something that you never thought you'd be brave enough to do, or writing down your dreams and putting them on your mirror to look at every morning. Reach out to people in your community to give and receive help, audition for that role you'd love to get, take the job, 
make your best attempt at being the person that you want to be, the person you think God would be proud of, and never, ever stop growing. Amen.